everybody, welcome back. Today is a very special video. You might have noticed that my setup has changed and that's cause I'm filming in a new studio. So to celebrate, I have one of my best buddies here. This is Sharon Farrell, also known as Sharon the Makeup Artist. Hello. And we're gonna do a fun video. Just yeah. a first impressions, chit chat. Something nice and casual. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Stiller One Step Correct. I've never tried this, but I've heard good things. I think Shannon XO really likes this one. Oh, Shannon, right, okay. yeah. I am gonna be using the Crop uh, Natural Face Primer. Hmm, it's like a rainbow. Oh man, I just... <laughs> Do you know that you get too enthusiastic about smelling stuff? <laughs> you just get right in there. <laughs> this one feels thick. Oh, really? Yeah. Waxy, I would say. Maybe it is waxy because it's natural. For foundation, I'm just going to use an old favorite. This is the Kogan Do Aqua. I have got the Gorgeous Cosmetics Base Perfect Liquid Foundation, and I have two shades. I'm not sure which shade I am. So we'll see. I'm actually coming to the end of this, and that's like a pretty big deal because I think I've only ever finished two foundations in my life. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I was saying to Sharon a little while ago, do you believe that I've never false tanned? Not even tried it. Just for giggles, you know? Yeah. Wow. Not curious? Yeah. I could be. I feel like a, yeah, a, a I mean, tan pusher. Yeah? Like, yeah. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> so I forgot to bring concealer, so I'm going to use Karima's. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is not a first impression for me because I have used this before and I you like it. I really quite like it. Hmm. What's your favorite under eye concealer? Urban Decay Naked. Really? Yeah. Deaths. Wow, that was a really, really quick answer. Yeah. Wow, I haven't tried that one yet. It's nice. Um, I like it. It's like, <laughs> it's my favorite of all of the concealers I've tried. It's, it's nice. nice. <laughs> FYI, guys, I know that I have some foundation on my face that isn't blended. I'm just letting it settle a bit so that it um, doesn't wipe away. That's how I build coverage. Oh, well, that's an interesting yeah. tip. Kind of yeah. let it dry a bit before. Yeah, let it set um, while I'm doing my under eye concealer, and then I'll come back and bounce it in. I'm going to set my skin with a loose powder. This is another product by Crop. This is just a translucent mineral loose powder. This is also really matte. I didn't expect this powder to be super duper matte. Okay, Tarte. What is it called? Contour. The Sculptor Contour Face Slender Eye. What, what is the actual <laughs> name? <laughs> Park Avenue Princess Contour Stick. Let's just call it that. Whoa, that's like... That's really warm, right? Really warm. Yeah. Way warmer than I expected. Okay. I'm gonna probably blend this into more of a bronzer. This is not a first impressions, but uh, for powder, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish. I really like this. I don't like it as much as the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, nor the Rouge Bunny Rouge one. Just throwing that out there. Is there coverage in that or is it? Negligible, no. Wow, so warm. You a bronze babe. I'm always so cautious of nose contour. Yeah. Yeah. I have Do it. <laughs> Jeez, no pressure, Karima. <laughs> Alright, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Next I'm going to go into this bronzer. It's by Curtis Collection and it's called Bronze Goddess. I really like the look of this because it doesn't look excessively warm. Mm -hmm. It actually looks to lean on the cooler side. See, don't like my nose. Now I think I look like Show me. I think it's actually made my nose look more like hooked. So you go in with more. So exactly, yeah, that's the solution to the problem. <laughs> when in doubt, more. more. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Yeah? Yeah. You wanna use it? Yeah. I'm gonna rob some of this bronzer as well because it looks awesome. Blush. Oh, guys, I have to show you this. I was showing Sharon earlier. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh! amazing possession it's one of my prized possessions it says to Karima with love and best wishes Francois Nars Sydney 2015 and inside I think pretty much all of their blushes yes that's so amazing looks to be all of them so yes um, Francois Nars gave me this when he was in Sydney recently Hi, Francois you know last time I saw him yeah yeah <laughs> my, me and my buddy he was really nice so lovely so humble what do you reckon that is oh sex appeal I doubt that that'll show up on me, but you know what? I'm going to try. That's the one that I was drawn to in that palette as well. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Yep. Much of nothingness. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is like... And I'd pack that on. Well, I'm just going to use this Physician's Formula blush. <laughs> 
No, that's very cool. You guys, I'm really excited to try this. Dose of Colors Baked Highlighter in Pearl Dust. I purchased this at IMATS this year. Much excited. Oh, oh Lordy. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Holy oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Girl. Yeah, it's more intense than in real life. I feel like I'm in competition with highlighter now. I'm like, how like still putting it on? I'm going to. Oh. <laughs> Bad choice of finger. I'm going to move on to my brows. And today I have got an Ardell brow pomade. I didn't even realize that they made brow pomades, but yeah, excited to try it. We're filming a video on Sharon's channel, uh, products that didn't live up to the hype. So um, I will leave all of those links in the description box and you should go watch it. Yes. Yeah. And um, this is just my Chanel brow. You know, I don't hate this. The color is definitely warm, but the texture is actually a lot nicer than Dip Brow, the Anastasia uh, brow pomade. It's Ooh. much easier to work with. Have you ever considered getting your brows tattooed? Yes, I have. I never thought that I would say that. No, me either. A few years ago, it was a massive faux pas. Yeah. And then now? Yeah, like Chloe Morello's brows. Oh, amazing. Um, this is an Eye of Horus eyeshadow palette. I've got some Smith brushes here. Have you heard everyone on YouTube talking about these? Yeah. <laughs> Too much time on YouTube for me. <laughs> yeah, um, like, uh, I think Desi and like, Badalash, oh. uh, Luster Luxe, yeah. And also this, uh, it Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette, but it's a mini. So cute. Very cute. That's nice. What are you feeling over there? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I think this You're is not one of those days. Direction? Yeah, this is one of those days where the makeup it has full control over me. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of this bronzer because I wanna warm up this color on my eyes. I am going into the middle shade, which is kind of like a champagne-y. I do like the Smith brushes. I think that they're a good shape, but they're not heap soft. I'd say as soft as like Zoeva, mm. um, MAC. Mm. Not quite as soft as Japanese brushes. Might go into a, a bit of this brave here. And this is a young blood. I don't think this is going to be a waterproof pencil. Coal-like? Yeah, it's more like a coal. Next, to add a little bit of fun to this very boring eye, I have this palette here from Shuomura. This is the uh, Mason Kitsune for Shuomura palette. And it's so pretty. So pretty. So Shuomura does really fabulous uh, pressed glitter compacts. I think they're my favorite, better than the Tom Ford. Stunning, so maybe I'll go with a, what do you reckon? I think you should do the purple. Yes, purple. It's very soft. It would, I think, uh, adhere better if we had eye primer, but what do you do? I also have metallic liquid liners. Ooh! By yeah. whom? Uh, I have Horace as well. I have Horace do amazing eyeliners. Metallic copper. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Just to finish this eye off, I'm going to take a bit of this blue on the outer. to put this <laughs> there's no space left I feel like this copper liner has just rescued my look show me I just put it on the outside oh cool all right cool so I also have a uh, shoe mirror drawing liner from the Kitsune collection and it's purple it's like a grape purple mm, let's do it next I'm going to try the Burberry liquid liner which looks to have quite a fine felt tip I tend to prefer brush tip liners. Yeah. Like the Physicians Formula. Yeah, I would too, give them a choice. Because I think they they last longer as well. Like the felt tips tend to break down a bit and lose their point. Yeah. I am moving on to mascara. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Tight Line mascara, which technically is not really a first impressions for me, but it's been a while since I used it. I really, really do like this. It's the one with the teeny, 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 tiny little brush. Do you build that up just until you get yeah. a mascara like? Oh, yeah, it works. It actually works quite well. Don't mind it. Still prefer the Kat Von D tattoo line in Trooper. For mascara, I'm going to use this one. 
It's the CoverGirl bombshell volume and it appears to have two sides. Ah, they're numbered. It's always, <laughs> it's always handy. Ooh, number one. It's big. That's what she said. Step two. I'm rubbing one of Karima's products, actually. This is the Krylon Professional uh, Lip Pencil. Uh, it's a face liner, so not necessarily. Okay. Um, it's just called number 36. Also, my lashes feel very crunchy. Oh, no, it doesn't smell good. I'm going to use this lip color. I'm so excited. It looks like Mac Impassioned, and I think this is like a matte lip. Oh, look how thick that is. It's already shinier than I would have thought. Yeah. But that's neon. Yeah. Okay, so this is definitely far glossier than I had anticipated. So I think at this stage we have packed on quite an impressive amount of makeup. Yes. Uh, tell us what would you pick, two products to recommend? So honestly, I feel like I've actually been quite disappointed by a lot of the products that I tried today, but the two that I really, really did like, first of all, was one that I rubbed off you, <laughs> that lip pencil. That's awesome. I just really, really beautiful color and the texture is really nice too. It's soft, but it's hard enough that you can actually be precise with it. Mm. And also the copper liquid liner. Nice. Yeah, I really, really nice. like that. Um, Gotta get yes, my hands on that. Bit of fun. Yeah. Nice. But you I would pick the Curtis Collection bronzer. I think that that's really interesting. And if you're looking for a bronzer that isn't uber warm, mm. I think that's a really interesting option. Yeah. Difficult to find. Difficult to find. Absolutely. Yeah. And the other thing that I absolutely love is this Dose of Colors highlight. That I don't is know. so much fun. I don't know if you guys are catching this, but it is epic. That would be beautiful as an eyeshadow as well. Yeah. In mm. a corner highlight mm. all over my face. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to check out Sharon's channel. I will leave all of her links in the description box. Go check out our video. We, we hope, hope you have, have a wonderful day and we'll speak, speak to you very soon. soon. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Love it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Baby <in your> eyes. <laughs> it hurts. You do get used to it. Yeah, you get blind. <laughs> when there's nothing left to see. <laughs> Gotta get the angle right. Hello. My brothers are not even sisters. They're not twins. They're not cousins. They're very, very distant relatives, so. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's a really weird kind of product because you're hairy up there. <laughs> what? Right? Like, oh, sorry. <laughs> totally out of context, Cop. Yeah, that happens to me as well. It's like, oh, a casual dinner date with friends. Yeah. And it's like, Bam. whoa! <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, where are you going? <sighs> they do the most amazing soy chai lattes. <laughs> I'm that person. <laughs> like a soy chai latte? No soy, no latte? <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Silence. Yeah. Oh, my thin eyeliner got thick. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that's it. Oh my god, is that chocolate? Whoa, that's weird. No, it doesn't smell like chocolate. It smells like it smells like Vegemite. <laughs> well, I do think the dark chocolate can taste like Vegemite. You take that back. What do you associate with me? You know what though? I feel like you're one of the few channels who really actually provides a lot of variety. Not many people do because we tend to be drawn to the same kind of thing. Like, I especially know that I am. I tend to do a similar style of makeup just because that's what my hands know yeah. and that's what they want to do. But I feel like you provide a lot. 